It was a year of protest and pageantry. A year of electioneering and exploitation. A year of departure and a year of dissent. And RFA reporters were on the scene with groundbreaking coverage of the stories that shaped Asia in 2011. RFA's Cantonese service delivered an award-winning series that investigated the problem of pollution along the Dong River in the southern Chinese province of Guangdong. The reports looked at how unregulated mining, population growth and rapid economic development have poisoned a river that is still Hong Kong's primary source of drinking water. An RFA video crew journeyed across North and Southeast Asia to give a human face to the millions of victims of human trafficking. The series examines the entrapment and exploitation behind the global scourge of modern human slavery. A citizen journalist in Beijing knew that he risked getting beaten up and detained when he set out to cover the plight of China's petitioners ordinary people who travel to the capital to seek redress for official wrongdoing. Many say they've suffered at the hands of local authorities. After hiding his data card in a bowl of soup, he gave these video images to RFA's Mandarin service. In March, reporters for the Tibetan service hosted a series of debates among candidates for Tibet's exiled prime minister and parliament. The debates were carried live via satellite to audiences around the world. Chinese artist Ai Weiwei became a symbol of resistance after the government detained him for nearly three months. His secret detention sparked an international outcry. The communists itself are changing. <laughs> In July, Tibetan spiritual leader the Dalai Lama visited RFA's Washington, D.C. headquarters as part of the broadcaster's 15th anniversary celebrations. He said voices of democracy, rule of law, and free information will bring about a new reality in Tibet. Thank you. That's all. Thank you. And in October, Hanoi-based Yun Hu Vin became the first journalist to file stories from inside Vietnam for RFA. His courage and the courage of many brave citizen reporters throughout Asia is what keeps RFA on the air.